What's going on everyone? Josh here from Hunts Photo and Video and today I'm going to be taking a first look at the brand new Sigma 28-70 f2.8 full frame lens for both Sony E-mount as well as Leica L-mount. Now the very first thing that I noticed about this lens as soon as I was able to actually pick it up and touch it was its form factor. Now I know I say this all the time, but I can't help it. These lenses are getting lighter and more compact every single day. This lens in particular is extremely light and small, especially for what it's actually capable of doing. Weighing in at just over one pound, Sigma, much like Tamron, is keeping up with the times and designing lenses that perfectly complement the compact nature of these brand new mirrorless cameras. I will say after picking this lens up for the first time, I did have some questions about the overall structural integrity because it felt very light and I could tell that it was made out of some sort of a plastic or a poly material. Now by no means does this mean this lens is cheap or bad, quote unquote. Um, it was just one of my very first observations as soon as I picked it up. Now with that being said, constructing the lens out of a polycarbonate instead of the metal alloy that they usually use for a lot of their art series lenses helps to cut a lot of the weight while still maintaining its overall structural integrity. This will also reduce most errors that are caused by certain temperature changes. For example, this lens won't be subject to as quite as much heat shrinkage as some of the others might be because of the material that was used in its construction. Now on further inspection, I also noticed that both rings, the focus ring as well as the, the zoom ring are incredibly smooth and they also feel like they might be damped, which will uh, basically just remove any unwanted slips by adding a little bit of drag, not necessarily friction, but just a little bit extra drag so that you can actually feel it engage when you're turning it. Now, regardless of whatever material they chose to use to construct this lens, it feels like a premium product and the quality can back that up as well. All of that is to say, essentially, this lens does not feel cheap despite lacking the weight that some of those higher price lenses tend to be. Now it's time to get into a little bit more of the nitty gritty here. Like I mentioned before, this lens is available for both full frame Sony E-mount as well as full frame Leica L-mount. This lens is also Japanese made and is a direct follow up to their 24 to 70 f2.8 full frame lens in their art series. It's also stated that this is the lightest and smallest full frame standard zoom lens with an f2.8 aperture. This lens also perfectly complements the compact form factor of mirrorless cameras, making this lens incredibly valuable to take shooting on locations. Adding to the overall versatility of this lens, the minimum focusing distance is just over seven inches, making close-up photography and videography entirely possible with this lens. Sigma has also stated that this lens will maintain the art level quality of their art series lenses while still being in the contemporary lineup. All of this is to say that Sigma now has two of the absolute best options when it comes to compact, fast, and high quality standard zoom lenses. Now the 28 to 70 comes standard with the quiet stepping motor, which just means ultra fast, accurate, as well as quiet focusing when you're, when you're doing autofocus. AFC or continuous autofocus is fully supported as well as some of the newer functions when it comes to autofocus like eye autofocus and animal eye autofocus. The front element of this lens features a multi-coating as well as a nano porous coating which will minimize on ghosting and flare while still maintaining its maximum resolution and quality. These coats help to cut down on dust, oil as well as giving it a little bit more scratch protection on there as well. Sigma has also stated that if you are going to be shooting on Sony E-mount specifically that you should probably activate any optical corrections that are available as you may find a little bit of distortion on both the wide angle as well as the tight angle of this lens. Something else I did notice about this lens was that it appears that there's only weather sealing on the, the lens mount itself, not throughout the body. For most cases, this probably isn't going to make any difference, but I'm curious to see how this lens will fare in harsher weather conditions. Now, being a mirrorless shooter myself, I could not be more excited to see what all of these companies continue to produce for the mirrorless systems coming up in the future. Sigma continues to hone their craft by producing stellar products with competitive price points and incredible quality. This lens will be available everywhere starting sometime mid-March of 2021. Thank you all for tuning in to another First Look video. Once again, my name is Josh, and if you have any questions concerning this lens or anything else camera related, please do not hesitate to reach out. Give us a call, send us an email, or stop by one of our eight stores located around New England.